New tonight, our entire region is seeing rising home and rental prices thanks to the combination of high demand, short supply. Montpelier leaders are now trying to come up with answers on how the housing crisis is playing out in the capital city. ABC 22's Mike Coey joins us tonight live from the newsroom. Well, Lauren, a new study finds support services in Montpelier are fragmented widely enough that at least some people can't access them when they need them. Last fall, the City Council tapped into a Montpelier-based consulting firm for an assessment of local housing needs and an action plan to remedy them. The consultants presented their recommendations Wednesday night. A Montpelier housing master plan was one of them. We actually started a housing master plan about a year ago, and um, I spoke with the planning director today. They're very active, uh, so the new housing plan, this council should be getting it this summer. The second recommendation is to create a centralized housing hub offering not just emergency shelter, but spaces for outreach services like job support, food assistance, or substance abuse counseling, among other things. All of those things live in different organizations in different places right now. I mean, it re you almost need a full-time navigator to help you figure out how do you piece together all of these pieces. The last major recommendation is to form and implement a citywide community education plan to, among other things, reduce stigma surrounding housing insecurity. People who have experienced homelessness are no more likely to be dangerous or violent than any of the rest of us in the community. And often are blamed for acts done by, by folks who are not homeless. The capital city's rental housing vacancy rate has fallen in recent years to near zero, leading its median gross rent to increase to $1,181 a month at the end of 2021. Half of tenants paid more than that and half paid less. The median price of buying a home has also nearly doubled since 2016. It's increased by more than $150,000 since then, and incomes aren't keeping up. We should also note tonight, Lauren, the Federal Reserve Board raised interest rates today by a quarter point. In response, the National Association of Home Builders says they expect this move by the Fed to price about 1.3 million U.S. households out of the housing market. Live in the newsroom, Mike Coey, ABC 22 News. In Crime Watch.